now on WRDE Coast TV. Making way for Margaritaville. Ocean City about to take the next step in bringing the Jimmy Buffett themed resort to our coast. Bridge concerns in Fenwick Island, the part of the replacement project that has some neighbors talking about the lights on the bridge. From the beaches to the bay, coverage you can count on. WRDE Coast TV, your local news at 11 starts right now. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Matt Pensick and welcome to Coast TV News. Midday and sunshine on this late Monday morning as we get a live look with our dry tech camera in Ocean City. Just spectacular looking. Our first alert meteorologist Bob Try, he joins us now with a look at first alert weather. Good morning, Bob. Good morning, Matt. Good morning, Del Marva. We cannot ask for a better weather scenario this second day of October. Just about as good as it gets. Wall to wall sunshine and temperatures now warming into the 70s. Inland areas, 73 Georgetown, Seaford also 73, 72 in Del Mar. Slightly cooler along the coast, 69 in Lewis, down to Bethany Beach right now. We've got a light northeast wind, and that's keeping us a little cooler, especially along the beaches. And it's about 6 to 12 miles per hour to the northeast. Here's our visit satellite picture, mainly clear skies. In fact, clear skies all across Delmarva. The only fly in the ointment is a little bit of haze and wildfire smoke offshore, but I think that will stay there as we're looking at a lot of sunshine thanks to high pressure building it from the west and keeping us in a northerly flow. So we're looking at temperatures warming through the 70s this afternoon, about 78 for Millsboro and Georgetown, around 80 for Seaford. A little cooler along the beaches, so above normal conditions for today and a beautiful evening on the way. So Walter all sunshine today that continues for a couple more days then big changes by the end of the week i'll talk about that coming up right, thank you. bob and happening today ocean city will hold the first reading of an ordinance and ultimately if it's passed the town will abandon and convey some air rights now this is above the alley over washington lane between 13th and 14th street resolution to this issue is needed for the margaritaville project to move forward and town council has already taken testimony and public comment on this decision and we're checking out the scene this morning in downtown Millsboro. A little traffic back up there as recreational marijuana use. It's a big topic of discussion later today. Town officials are pondering whether to allow the sale of recreational marijuana or not. And we've seen most of our communities say no since recreational cannabis became legal in Delaware. Later today, Millsboro will weigh in and about marijuana sales and production within municipality limits. And this is currently on the town council agenda. That meeting starts at 7 p.m. tonight at the Millsboro Town Center. On Sunday, fire caused damage to this barn in Seaford. According to the Seaford Volunteer Fire Company, this was before 9 a.m. on Baker Mill Road. Crews from Seaford and the Blaine's Volunteer Fire Company worked to get the fire under control. And you can see the damage that was done inside once crews were able to get there. Happening today, limiting the light pollution in Fenwick Island, town officials are reviewing options during our residential committee meeting, and you know, some of the conversation revolves around the pending bridge replacement project, specifically the lights that will be constructed on it. Other coastal communities have proposals for new systems to limit light projected into the night sky. That washes out the visibility of stars. Maryland boaters, new law is now in effect. If you are convicted of boating under the influence, and you later get convicted of driving under the influence, that boating charge can be used to increase the penalty of the driving charge. Now, according to the state, the goal of this is to keep the waterway safer. They also stress to never boat under the influence. Got developing news from the government's case against former President Donald Trump. President Biden's Attorney General Merrick Garland says he would resign if asked by Biden in order for the Justice Department to take action against Trump. However, Garland went on to say he does not think he will be put in that position. Biden's Justice Department has several indictments against Trump and is also dealing with the investigation into Biden himself over keeping classified documents and also looking into over $20 million from foreign businesses, including China, that have been funneled to Biden family members. Taking a live look at New York City, this is the courthouse there. It's a big turn in former Trump's many legal cases taking place in the Big Apple. Happening today, former President Trump is in New York City for his day in court. The civil trial for Trump is in Manhattan. Democrat New York Attorney General Letitia James brought a lawsuit against Trump alleging that he and his adult sons engaged in fraud. James says Trump lied about his net worth for his financial benefit. 
among the claims Trump faces falsifying business records and issuing false financial statements. Now, Trump, for his part, blasted James, saying on True Social, quote, this is whole case is a sham, end quote. Both sides choose to have a bench trial, which means there will be no jury and that all rulings will be made by the judge. You are, no matter how much money you think you may have, no one is above the law. And it is my responsibility and my duty and my job to enforce it. It's a scam, it's a sham. Just so you know, my financial statements are phenomenal. They are actually less in terms of the numbers used than the actual net worth. And it is expected that the case could last almost three months. Coming up, alarming action in Congress. Accident, prank, or intentional? Congressman is facing some heat after he pulled a fire alarm during shutdown negotiations. Coast TV News Midday returns after this. Did you know that name storms could add a wind damage deductible to your insurance claim? and the assessed value of your home is different than replacement cost? Know your policy and your deductibles. Review your coverage before disaster strikes. And if you do suffer damage, call the experts, Riptide Restoration, to guide you through the insurance process and help you maximize your benefits. For more information, visit delmarvaexperts.com. For a great shopping experience, Furniture Gallery is the place to pick up one-of-a-kind signature finds to complete your home decor. Come explore our selection of handcrafted furniture and get all the supplies you need for your own DIY projects. And through the doors is Shaw Marketplace where you'll find the most unique local shops at the beach. With over 40 local artisans, Shaw Marketplace is truly a local connection you cannot afford to miss. And next door you'll find Scrub Apparel Outlets. All this under one roof with easy access off Coastal Highway North. Today at 4 on Coast Life, kick off our DIY Halloween series with candy corn orbs. Warm up with the best fall tea flavors. Plus, learn how the Frogs Fairway golf outing is making strides against breast cancer. Coast Life Today at 4 on Coast TV. Did you know that LVP stands for Luxury Vinyl Plank? It's not just a floor, it's a game changer in style, durability, and convenience. Here's the key, LVP flooring is completely waterproof and can be installed over your existing floors, giving you a cost-effective and fresh new look. At Floor Coverings International, we know LVP. We can bring our mobile showroom to you fully equipped with thousands of flooring options. For more information, visit DelmarvaExperts.com. Our mission here at the Boardwalk Buddy Walk is simple to create a community where people with Down syndrome or any other cognitive disorder can live, work, and play. That's why every October we invite family and friends to a full weekend of acceptance and inclusion in Rehoboth Beach. This year's event takes place at 9 a.m. at the Rehoboth Beach Boardwalk and Bandstand. So come out to this year's Boardwalk Buddy Walk and walk with us. High School Field Hockey lives here on the Delmarva Sports Network. Local teams, big dreams. Got developing news out of Washington where Republican congressional leaders are considering taking action against this man that you see here. It's Democrat Jamal Brown for pulling a fire alarm during the effort to pass a bill and avoid a government shutdown. We have an image that was caught on a security camera. Bowman said it was an accident. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy has called for an investigation suggesting it wasn't just simply an accident. We have a traffic update to tell you about. Road work happening on Route 1 and 16. It is in the Milton area. On Route 1, today through Friday, you're going to see lane closures. They started already. It'll wrap up around 3 p.m. today, and you also see lane closures at night. That's seven days a week from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Then on Route 16, you will see daytime closures seven days a week, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. The nighttime closures will run 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. seven days a week. These closures, they're going to be here a while, scheduled to continue until April 30th of 2024. Got an update on the Maryland gun laws that were supposed to go into effect yesterday. A, on Friday, a federal judge blocked the law preventing someone from carrying a concealed handgun in certain areas, such as a school or health care facility. It's where they say there could be children or vulnerable adults. One law that did go into effect but also faces legal challenges, it's raising the age to get a permit from 18 to 21. 
And we're seeing lots of sunshine across Delmarva and surfs up on our Boardwalk Plaza camera. So seas still pretty rough, but they'll start to calm down with time as our weather is calming down. A gorgeous start to the month of October with mild weather for really the balance of the week. Then we'll see a strong cold front move through later in the week into the weekend, and it will bring some showers and chillier weather. I'll have all the details coming up next. Purchasing diamond jewelry or any jewelry, remember Robinson's, where we sell only earth-grown diamonds, not the fake lab created whose values have dropped. Robinson's Jewelers can design or repair any jewelry, as Robinson's is the largest jewelry store on Delmarva with eight jewelers on staff. Although we are known for being coin and clock experts, we want you to know we are the expert jewelers of Delmarva. Chain repairs to ring sizings to custom-made engagement rings, Robinson's is your jewelry expert. To learn more about Robinson's family of business, the coin and jewelry experts, visit Delmarva Experts on WBOC.com. Elevate your business and engage more customers with Draper Media. Our diverse network of media properties such as WBOC, WRDE, 93.5 The Beach, and 1025 WBOC reaches over a half a million Delmarva residents across various channels like television, radio, social media, and digital platforms. Enhance your brand's visibility across the Delmarva region with Draper Media. Our passionate team of media specialists and content creators are dedicated to showcasing your brand through engaging commercials, dynamic drone footage, eye-catching graphic and web design, and social media branding. Share your brand story on our popular programs, capturing the attention of your target audience. Trust your brand with Draper Media, a family-oriented company serving the Delmarva community. Contact Frank Hamilton today at fhamilton at wboc.com to get started. When you bank with the Farmers Bank of Willards, something wonderful happens. You make a difference in your own community. The Farmers Bank has remained locally owned and operated for nearly 100 years, and decisions on where to invest profits are still made right here by local people. In just the last 25 years, over $200 million have been and reinvested into our local economy to help local families, businesses, schools, towns, and youth programs build and grow and prosper. Switch to the Farmers Bank of Willers, where people matter. When you visit the Delmarva Design Center, you'll experience a selection of appliances, cabinetry, countertops, tile, and flooring all together in one showroom. The 10,000 square foot location has a variety of inspiring samples for any project size or budget. Your dedicated product experts and designers collaborate to bring your dream project to life. Come and see what the kitchen industry buzz is all about. Experience the Delmarva Design Center in Selbyville, Delaware, serving all of Delmarva's coast. Our weather just about as good as it gets for the second day of October. Here's our Tyndall's casual furniture cam looking at a lot of blue skies. There is a little bit of a haze on the horizon. We have maybe just a little bit of wildfire smoke, but that will not really cause a problem. Right now, 74 in Laurel, and we're looking at beautiful conditions. In fact, here's our five-day temperature trend. And remember to scan the QR code right there. Get your phone and camera mode. Scan the QR code and download the Coast TV weather app. Five-day temperature trend, pretty nice. Average high now is 74. I'm expecting 77 today, up to 80 on Tuesday, 81 on Wednesday. By Thursday, it does cool back to 78 because I think we'll see more clouds. And then the cold front on Friday keeps us in the upper 70s and a chance of showers with the cold front at that time. More on that coming up. But temperatures right now under blue skies, beautiful, almost near that average high for this time of year. 73 in Georgetown, Millsboro, Redden, and other locations. 74 into Seaford right now. Cooler. 60s, uh, 69 in Rehoboth Beach and Bethany Beach right now. We've got a northeast wind, a little gusty along the coast. We'll say around 6 to 12 miles per hour, and that's pulling in some of that cooler, drier air. But with that sun and blue sky, we are warming things up quickly. You can see on the visible satellite picture, hardly a cloud in the sky. Could see a few cumulus clouds into this afternoon. As I mentioned earlier, we have a little bit of wildfire smoke offshore, and that will continue to stay out in that direction. I'm looking at a lot of sunshine. As we have high pressure building in and that flow coming in out of the north and that high will ensure us of several nice weather days. Future cast for today. Here's noon. Take that lunch outside mid to upper 70s inland 60s and 70s 
activities along the coast a little cooler at the beaches with the northeast wind by four o'clock. Places like Seaford down to Salisbury, lower 80s, but you're looking at 60s and lower 70s along the coast. Through the overnight, maybe a few clouds, maybe a little bit of patchy fog and a cool start to your Tuesday. Temperatures in the 50s and then by tomorrow we ratchet up those temperatures a little bit by noon. 78 Millsboro, Delmar 78, 60s and 70s along the coast and then by the afternoon we're looking at temperatures once again flirting with 80 inland. A little cooler along the beaches and moving into your Wednesday we start in the 50s and another mild day with 70s and lower 80s with lots of sunshine. Muggy meter we keep it into the comfy to muggy range the next couple of days but then humidity starts to creep up by the end of the week because we start to get into a southerly flow ahead of a cold front and we have two fall cold fronts we're watching. Here's the first one that will start to move in later Friday. That will increase some showers but the stronger one will be building in on Saturday. That one could have stronger showers, maybe a rumble of thunder with it. That front moves through. I think we'll see the showers ending sometime later Saturday evening, followed by much cooler and drier air. In fact, by Sunday, we're looking at lows in the 40s and highs into the 60s with a northwesterly flow. And that cool air sticks around for a while. 77 this afternoon, beautiful day, lots of sunshine. 55 tonight, clear skies and cool. And then for Tuesday, a high of 80 degrees. Paul Davis, seven day forecast, 81, lots of sunshine Wednesday, more clouds Thursday, upper 70s Friday, showers with that first front, second front on Saturday with the showers, a high of 70, and then that low of 49 Sunday morning, a high of only 64 with sunshine on Sunday. All right, thanks, Bob. And a reminder, you can hear Coast TV news and weather updates throughout the day on our family of radio stations, Coast Country 103.9 and 106.3 FM on 93.5 The Beach and on Big 107.7. Still ahead, it could be a billion-dollar payday. The latest Powerball drawing tonight. Coast TV News Midday is back in a moment. We traveled the country and the world looking for cool gems and antiques just for you. Bring in a unique collection of items for the most interesting store at the beach. Here at Buddhas and Beads, we also buy estate jewelry, costume jewelry, gold and silver, or any antiques. We're always looking to build our collection we buy one piece or an entire estate. We got a super cool shop, great prices, and we pay the most for your gold and silver. Come on in to Buddhas and Beads on Rehoboth Avenue. About 83% of homes have rodent activity. One of the most common signs is mouse droppings. Mice can leave up to 100 droppings every day. Don't mistake these droppings for chocolate sprinkles. What you don't see is more concerning. Mice also leave behind urine. A thorough inspection from a specialist is required to develop a treatment plan specific to your home. Active Pest Solutions, your local pest experts. For more information, visit DelmarvaExperts.com. Coverage on the road, in your community, along the coast. The IG Burton First Alert Weather Jeep, live on the street, day or night. From breaking news to weather in your town, the IG Burton First Alert Weather Jeep. Coverage you can count on. Our law firm has been helping folks in Delaware for over a decade. Our team is experienced in handling personal injury and wrongful death cases, and our track record speaks for itself. Recently, right here in Delaware, we settled a motor vehicle trucking case for more than $2 million. You may think that your case is small, but at our law firm, we treat every case like it's a big case. Choose the right team. Bear Mandalas, Brockstead, Federico, Right Lawyers, Right Now.com. A form in outer space? Yes, next July. Wow, that's amazing. Oh, I can't change these plans. We're still in the sun next summer. Uh -huh. Heist of a lifetime. Uh, uh, but, but, Come on, you in? Uh, but... Roman Reigns will defend his title against anyone, anytime. Except next July. Latino! takes to be the next don't ever stop move shake be proud be bold dale pa'lante be the next story told dale pa'lante be the next story told happening tonight powerball drawing with a jackpot now past the one billion dollar mark well this is after no one hit it big saturday night there were two million dollar tickets that did get pulled in indiana in north carolina an estimated $1.04 billion. That is the new jackpot in the game's second largest this year. It's the fourth largest in the history of the game. 
The Food and Drug Administration announced a proposal to step up its oversight of a growing category of medical tests. Currently, the FDA approves and clears a variety of lab tests for blood, saliva, or tissue if they're used in hospitals or labs. But for decades, the agency has given standalone labs wide leeway to develop and use their own tests in-house called laboratory developed tests. Well, the holiday season will be here before we know it, and that means the return of Draper Media's Bless Our Children campaign through generous donations from businesses and individuals. We do our best to make sure every child has a present to open Christmas morning, and we do that by supporting nonprofits that handpick families in need, groups like the Boys and Girls Club. Applications for nonprofits like that are now open, and they are due at the end of the month, October 31st. Coming up, alcohol limit in October, the trend this month to promote health. Stay with us on Coast TV News Midday. 100.9% classic country plays real country. 10, 9, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Enjoy 10 songs in a row brought to you by Pohanka of Salisbury. Transform your outdoor space with Backyard Works. We are Sussex County's one call for all your fence, deck, handrail, pergolas, shower, and trash enclosure needs. Locally owned and operated, we make all our vinyl and aluminum fence right here in Harbison, Delaware, from American-made manufacturers. Cut out the middleman and deal direct. As a Timber Tech Platinum Deck Dealer, our trained team will professionally install your deck that will last a lifetime. Give us a call and let us make your backyard work. Vision loss can be gradual and your elderly loved ones might not realize how compromised their vision has become. There are some simple ways you can help. Clear all pathways in their home to prevent accidents. Label items with bright colors and make sure those items stay in a designated place. When you need help, consult with a professional in-home care provider. Homo Care Services can set up a safety plan, assist with running errands and other tasks that might be difficult for them. To learn more about Homo Care Services, visit DelmarvaExperts.com. With all the choices of services around Delmarva, where do you even begin? Trust experts of various fields offering the best of Delmarva, including Kitchen Concepts Plus, Chesapeake Eye Center, Apple Discount Drugs, Porch Protection Systems, FLC Energy, Spicer Brothers Construction, Mattress Peddlers, Homewell Care Services, Robinson's Jewelry and Coin Shop, Delmarva Acupuncture and Wellness Center, Delmarva K9. Mast Audiology Services, Riptide Restoration, Active Pest Solutions, Atlantic Tactical Firearms Trainers, Delmarva Dave, and Buchanan Subaru. Delmarva Experts, local experts right when you need them. Whether you live at the beach, travel to the beach, or want to know what's going on at the beach, get the WRDE News app, the latest and most up-to-date stories for your coastal community. Download the WRDE News app on your Apple or Android devices. Just search WRDE Coast TV. The WRDE Coast TV News app. Coverage you can count on. First full week of October, and if you've been thinking about giving up alcohol or abstaining for a bit, you might want to try a new trend. It's called Sober October. Experts say giving up alcohol, even for a short time, can help your health, and Mandy Gaither shows us how to have a successful Sober October. In many settings, it's become a social norm, but alcohol misuse isn't good for your health, and giving up drinking, even for a short time, could help you feel better. A better sleep, reduce stress and anxiety levels, and it also can reduce the risk of certain um, chronic illnesses. If you're planning a sober October, don't do it alone. Surround yourself with supportive family and friends, says registered dietitian Maria Meza Martinez with Orlando Health. Just to make sure that you have not only accountability, but also support system. It might be a big change for some. If you're giving up alcohol, Martino says not to overdo it. Don't try a new diet trend at the same time or the latest exercise challenge. We just do it one thing at a time, so don't overwhelm yourself. If you're a social drinker missing out on a cocktail, try a mocktail instead. 
we have everything that a regular cocktail would have except the alcohol. You can also set yourself up for success by focusing on what you're adding to your life rather than what's being taken away. If they see that their health is improving, then they can continue this a journey past a sober October. For Health Minute, I'm Andy Gaither. Martina says alcohol also affects gut health and giving up drinking can help your gut heal. To help with that, she also suggests consuming probiotics and prebiotics along with eating a balanced diet, moving more and working to manage stress. We're looking at gorgeous weather for early October. Here's proof positive on the tunnel and razor cam, and we're looking at above normal temperatures, and it continues pretty much all week. But big changes end of the week into the weekend with a wetter and cooler pattern due to a cold front. I'll have your 10-day forecast coming up next. After my dad suffered a stroke, it was my turn to help him choose which rehabilitation hospital was best. I asked the medical staff who they trusted, and they said, Encompass Health. Advanced therapies have made them the nation's largest system of rehabilitation hospitals. For a great shopping experience, Furniture Gallery is the place to pick up one-of-a-kind signature finds to complete your home decor. Come explore our selection of handcrafted furniture and get all the supplies you need for your own DIY projects. And through the doors is Shaw Marketplace where you'll find the most unique local shops at the beach. With over 40 local artisans, Shaw Marketplace is truly a local connection you cannot afford to miss. And next door you'll find scrub apparel outlets. All this under one roof with easy access off Coastal Highway North. Join us at Big Oyster Brewery on Sunday, October 15th at 8 a.m. for the first Shuck Cancer 5K, a remarkable event dedicated to rallying support for those bravely battling cancer. Profits from the race and sales will be donated directly to Fighting Pretty, a nonprofit organization that helps provide strength, beauty, and empowerment to women in their cancer journey. For more info, visit fightingpretty.org. Coast Country Cares, brought to you by Spicer Brothers. Delmarva Home Show. Explore the hidden house gems here on the peninsula. Exciting tours of stunning homes, charming cottages, and luxurious beachfront properties. Designer ideas and insider tips to help inspire your home decor. Discover the best of Delmarva's architecture and interior design. A showcase of the most unique and beautiful homes on Delmarva. Start your tour Sunday mornings at 1130 on WBOC. Join us for the 5th Annual Fundraiser to support the Community Resource Center, Building Bridges for Neighbors in Need, Thursday, October 12th from 6 to 9 p.m. Enjoy an open bar, delicious food stations, and live music by Benny Preston. Tickets are $80, with proceeds benefiting Community Resource Center programs, including food rescue, baby pantry, emergency financial assistance, and the Job Center. For more info, visit RehobothCommunityCenter.org. Solo Cup Saturday night. It's an alternative country party with me, Jared. Brought to you by Midshore Recyclers Incorporated. Saturdays at 7 on Coast Country, 103.9 and 106.3. Performing out of space? Yes, next July. Wow, that's amazing. Oh, I can't change these plans. Coming up later tonight, safety on the streets after a serious crash this weekend in Dewey Beach is more needed to be done to protect people walking along the roads of the beach town. That story and more on Coast TV News at 5. And it's one of those days you want to spend as much time as possible outside because it is just beautiful out there. We're looking at gorgeous conditions. We're looking at temperatures warming into the 70s this afternoon, a high right around 76 and then falling back into the 60s as we go into this evening. Here's your Paul Davis 10 day forecast. 
looking at 80s. In fact, lower 80s Tuesday into Wednesday. Increasing clouds Thursday, 78, and then we'll see one cold front on Friday with showers, and then a stronger one on Saturday. Maybe a rumble of thunder with some of those showers with the high of 70. Then the big cool down Sunday, 64. Look at those lows into the 40s beginning Sunday morning, and then into next week. Highs in the 60s and lows as low as the mid 40s Monday and Tuesday morning. All right, thanks, Bob, and thank you for being here with us on Coast TV News Midday. For more news and local weather, you can download our Coast TV News app. Also, don't forget to join us later for Coast TV News at 5. Till then, have a great Monday, everybody.